Hey YouTube, it's Stuart here from the Passive Income Earn YC YouTube channel and we're back in the next in the series of the top five niches of the week for Merch by Amazon. So, is there some opportunity for you to make some money out of these niches? Well, sit back, relax, hit that subscribe button and let's get into it. Hey YouTube, just a quick introduction to the channel, particularly for those of you who are new. I'm Stuart, married to my wife Emily, with our beautiful baby daughter Mia. And this channel is set up to offer tips and tricks on generating money through passive income, in particular print on demand. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then please hit that subscribe button below. And a big thank you to those of you who already have. If you enjoy the video, please hit the like button. And for any questions, I'll look to come back to you ASAP. In the meantime, let's get into it. Hey YouTube, so here we are loaded up on our computer. I hope you've all had a nice weekend, as we've spent potty training Mia, so that's been a lot of fun, but I hope you all had a good one. Uh, what we're going to do is what I normally do in these videos, I will show you the top five niches of the week. As I say in all the videos, please, please, please check your copyright before uploading. I will try and find you niches which I think are safe, but please check them. Also be mindful of your marketplace. So what you upload to .com will be different to .co.uk and Germany and wherever else. So check your copyright. Also check the copyright for the particular marketplace. And I say what we'll do is I will show you the top five niches of the week, show you some designs which are popular, but then also show you the keywords. Take a pause of the screen, take some notes, use these keywords to cross niche and sub niche. The top five niches of the week are obviously very, very popular. But we need to try and find a way again a foothold into the market so we need to cross niche and sub niche so let's get straight into it with the top five niches of the week now the first one i'm going to go through this very very quickly on the first one i stand with ukraine it's an obvious one of why it's popular whether it should be popular that's a different debate i have put a video which i'll link above about my opinions on the safety of this niche it's not one that's going to be particularly great to report on but it is something that's selling extremely well so the facts are obviously in front of us um we'll have a quick scoop through so this one's based on Istanbul, ukraine the bsrs 4265 31265 39266 obviously everything's going to be based around the colors of the ukraine flag the blue and the yellow you can get the hex codes for them online to get the same like I said, be very careful with this niche and also decide to yourself whether it's something you should go for anyway. But let's have a look at some of the keywords. Ukraine, Ukrainian, um, support, flag. What else stands out for us? Ukrainians. So different ways of trying to search for Ukraine. Uh, war. It's not great, people. It's really not great. Um, sunflower world russia freedom and and so on like i said very careful with this niche it's also a niche whether you should really decide on whether you want to put up as well um it is a top five niche of the week so i'm just showing you but um, be extremely careful with it and like i said choose on whether you think you should do it or not um no that's it number one out of the way let's get into number two let's get to some more nice ones and this one is st patrick's day so Patrick's Day is coming up thick and fast. Very, very popular holiday. Lots of people out. People go out celebrating it. And what better way to celebrate than with a nice T-shirt? And hopefully it's one of our T-shirts. So this time I've searched for it based around Shamrock. We'll have a little look at some of the designs. Uh, that's incredible Hulk Marvel. You can't touch that for obvious reasons. Very copyrighted. But then Shamrock can be used in such a multitude of different ways. Um, so you've got Shamrock, Heart, Celtic, not Irish, St. Patrick's Day, SR, 56,706. These will probably get even slightly better as we get even closer. Um, that's quite a clever and quite a funny one. Irish Shamrock boobs, um, 59,052. And then you've got the same again in black as you had white. Um, it looks like it's the same designer as well. So hopefully it isn't, not someone's just ripped it off. Uh, yeah, so let's have a look, carry on down. You got one there with some purple into it. You got one with the American flag based around the green. So it's different ways of trying to cross niche. 
And that's what we're going to need to do with St. Patrick's Day. It's so huge. It's such a money maker. But because of that, there's so much competition. We need to find ways of cross niching. So take the shamrock idea and try and cross niche it with other things. Even if you just do something simple like cross niche it into people's jobs, whether it's teaching, whether it's an electrician, or even more obscure jobs out there, try and cross niche. Really, we're going to have to cross, cross niche or sub niche to start making sales in St. Patrick's Day. But it's a massive market, so hopefully we can do that and hopefully we can get some sales. Let's have a look at some of our keywords, obvious things, shamrock, Irish, Patrick's with an apostrophe, Patrick's without, again, different ways of searching for it, green, uh, lucky, shamrocks, leprechaun, leaf, uh, paddies, again, different ways of trying to search for paddy as well, so St. Patrick's Day, paddy's day, shenanigans, March, because it's in March, festival, celebrating, and so on and so on and so on. I say take a pause, use this to look at cross niche and sub niche. But St. Patrick's Day is a massive money maker, so we do need to look at doing that to try and get a foothold in the market. But if we can do that, hopefully we can make some good money. Brings us up onto number three, and that's Keeper of the Gender. This is a nice one. I've always liked this one. I think it's a very nice one, and people do some very nice colour combinations with the pink and the green. Um, the great thing about this one is it is an evergreen. This will sell year round. Lots of the niches of the week, they are particularly good for certain events coming up, whether it's Easter, Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, Valentine's Day or whatever. Something like Keeper of the Gender is great because it's an evergreen, which will sell year round, but with some fantastic BSRs for an evergreen. 79,207, 86,395. Uh, you've got 89,172, 109,605, 170,247. Um, different way of doing it, that one's been biased to Team Blue. So you'd have Team Blue and Team Pink, probably boy and girl. Uh, you've got them around different people. So you've got Pink or Blue, Grandpa loves you. The one at the top was Pink or Blue, Mama loves you, I believe. I know pink or blue daddy loves you so putting different people into it i've seen ones we've before actually that is the one i was going to say uh auntie being the keeper of the gender yeah keeper of the gender uh auntie loves you so yeah you're trying to get different family members involved so you could do cousins you could even do something like second cousins best friends sisters so on and so on so on and different ways of trying to do it and get people involved in it and different people different family members different friends but this is a massive one now again competition will be high so we need to find different ways of trying to come up with a gender reveal come up with some good designs um you could be gender reveal based on twins triplets something like that but you need to try and think outside the box so we need to come up with ways of getting our designs found found by doing sub niche and cross niche to help do that let's have a look at our keywords gender reveal baby shower so baby shower announcement family keeper pregnancy mom so if you've got mom you love dad um auntie friends celebrate newborn touchdowns that could be quite a good way of doing it touchdowns for um to do with the gender reveal that's quite clever if that's how it's been used which i hope it does uh pregnant name that's quite uh, an interesting one so did in different names as well so that's number three uh gender reveal and trending evergreens so that's what we like brings us up onto number four and this one april fools now the bsrs on this aren't fantastic but the competition's not that great either i don't believe so you got people stuff around based on april fools whether it's funny stuff or whether it's people born on april fools day say so, say so here you got born on april fools day uh life is a joke 341,428 the other one here april fool's day it's just happy, happy april fool's day it's an only one day t-shirt event but it's a bit of fun and people will do buy things like that which are a bit of fun and the, the competition is not going to be as great as something like st patrick's day or easter so there's nothing wrong with getting designs with a bsr for example of 560,569 it's something that's selling and that's what we want we want to see things that are selling uh so yeah you can have a bit of fun with this one as well i've seen a few 
previous designs where people were April Fool's Day and it's my birthday as well. I'm not joking and stuff like that. So yeah, it's a bit of a fun one. Uh, April 1st, trust no one. That's quite a good one. I like that actually. I really like that. And they've got it with that red text. It kind of looks a bit like a Halloween-y look, kind of uh, scary. I like that. That's really nice. 904,000. I know it's not a fantastic BSR, but it's something that makes money, guys. And that's what we want. We want to be making money. Uh, so let's have a look at some of our keywords. April, birthday, born, born on the 1st of April. Fools. Uh, whatever. Anything else massively standing out first? So you get our first with one ST and also spell F-I-R-S-T, so different ways for people searching for it. Um, party, you could have a party on it, I guess. Celebrate, celebrating April Fools, and so on, and so on, and so on. So yeah, that's number four, April Fools Day, bit of a fun one. Brings us up onto number five, and this is what's coming up very, very soon, Easter. Now the BSRs are good on this, but they're gonna get better, particularly when we get St. Patrick's Day out of the way. Easter is going to explode. I've done it this time searching for it on Easter Bunny. So different things you can do with Easter Bunny. Uh, it's a nice cute design. 78,500 BSR. One way over the glasses, 86,000. Uh, what else we got for Easter Bunny? you got three bunnies there. you got one here, which is an Easter Bunny gaming. So we'll use this as an example, actually. It's a good example for us to use. So instead of somebody just putting an Easter bunny up and just having the one niche of Easter, they're cross niche to do with gaming as well. So this is what we've got to do. We've got to look at cross niche. Now, even something like Easter bunny and gaming, that niche will probably be quite saturated. But you can take it one step further. So you could have Easter bunny gaming, but have a look at a particular kind of games. Whether it's an RPG, whether it's an action game, adventure game, uh, board game, puzzle game, different versions of games. So take this sort of two-step or one-step cross niche. So you've got one niche, another niche, and take that niche further down the line. So the more we can cross niche and sub-niche, the more likely the competition is going to be less. So that's a good example there. It's a nice design as well, but it's a good example of what we need to be doing. East is huge. So we've got to look at finding ways of sub niching and cross niching. And again, let's have a little look at our uh, keywords to help us try and do that. Easter, bunny, rabbit, eggs, hunting, like an Easter egg hunt, ears, chocolate. Any other massive ones that are standing out for us? Celebrating. Springs, it's in springtime and other things like that. So yeah, use these things to niche down further. This is how we're going to get found. In these big, big holiday events, we need to find ways of cross niching. So thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you got some inspiration to make some designs and more importantly, make some money. I so say thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.